Okay, we have a very special guest. This is Mr. One Notes. Hi, mit Namen Mike Thompson. Ja, ich bin auch Litnorsk. Lit, lit, litnorsk. Mike is uh, the no number one guy uh, in Monot uh, education. Uh, and Mike, uh, what's happening at Monot? We heard that the next desktop version uh, is dropping out and is uh, going on the online. Yeah, well, what we're doing is we're taking the one of desktop version, which has been great and been around for a long time. And over the next two years, we're not going to be developing new things. So you can keep using the desktop version. But we're really encouraging people to move to the OneNut for Windows 10 version. And we're going to be doing all sorts of improvements in that. Syncing improvements, class notebook improvements, math improvements, and adding more capabilities. As well as things like we're going to update the iPad, Mac, and the online version. So all these versions will look more similar and have very similar capabilities. You also introduce Immersive Reader. On English, it's Engasjerende mm Leser. -hmm. Uh, can you tell us more about that for our, our audience that haven't tried it? Sure. So the Immersive Reader, it was originally designed for students with dyslexia, but we really focused to in include all students with reading and helping with literacy. And so this Immersive Reader is built into OneNote. So what I can do is I can use it on any piece of text in OneNote or even a picture in OneNote. And I can read the text out loud in Norwegian and in New York as well. And I can also highlight the syllables and break the words into syllables and highlight the different parts of speech in New York and Bakmama, of course. And it gives me a picture dictionary and it gives me lots of ways to access text and help me with reading. And it also works in many different languages. So maybe you're learning English, maybe you're learning Swedish, or no, not Swedish. Maybe you're learning Danish, no, not Danish. Maybe you're learning some other language. Okay. And it can really help with reading and writing. I heard that you have a beta version of uh, you doing uh, Immersive Reader in Immersiality. Yes, so we just announced for the very first time this Immersive Reader in Virtual Reality. And you might ask, well, how does that work or why would I use that? So think about students that might be autistic, so students with autism that need to focus a bit more, a student with attention deficit, or a students with dyslexia, or just someone who has visual impairments. In virtual reality, the immersive reader is like reading on a giant movie screen. And you can zoom in, zoom out, you can have the text read out loud, and the sound goes right into your ears because the immersive reader headsets and virtual reality headsets have that text-to-speech right out of your ears. So that's in beta right now. In OneNote, it works in Word on the web, it works in Teams and in Flipgrid. And we hope to have that finished out by June of the summer, 2019. Is there any news in the OneNote? Yes, so we had a bunch of updates for the Class Notebook toolbar. So that is the way the teachers can work with Class Notebooks inside of OneNote. And we had a whole new set of capabilities like cross notebook distribution and copy content library and improved performance and page distribution. And those are coming to OneNote for Windows 10 and the online version and Mac and iPad. We also announced for those of you who use Mac in OneNote, you can now connect your class notebook up to different v, uh, VLE or learning management systems, LMSs. So you can push assignments and grades from OneNote Mac into your uh, learning management system. So you get the grades from OneNote or you push it up into your system. System in, in your system. So you don't have to enter it two times. Yes. Okay, everyone, uh, have a great school year. Uh, I hope you use OneNote and Teams as much as possible and send us feedback. Hada.